sometimes forex trading is a wild and woolly place to be. That's why Hughes here. To pose your questions to Walter, the naked forex guy. Hughes got questions and Walter's got the answers. Here at the Truth About FX Podcast. Hey Walter, I got this question recently. This person says, I want to back test a day trading system. I think it was a scalping system to be specific, but there's no way that I'm going to test 16 years of data for every currency pair. What do I do to make sure that I'm getting a good back test? Okay, so <laughs> so maybe you can hire someone else to do the back test and then hire them to do the trading for you. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Like, it's, like, it's like saying, you know, <laughs> hey, I really, really, really want to be a brain surgeon, but I just don't want to go to medical school, you know? Like, what am I going to do here? You know, I mean, that's the kind of... <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do. You got to earn it some way. So look, here's what I'd say. All right. So, I, I mean, all silliness aside, but that's really kind of, you know, it's this is what the person's saying. I want to... I want to do this scalping system and I want to verify it, but I don't really want to do the work that is involved when I verify it, you know? So, when, so okay. So, look, you can do an automated back test, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because you have data problems in most cases. And you also, if you're going to be trading it manually, which is what it sounds like, you probably don't want to do an automated back test because you'll probably be trading it differently than the computer would. And then the other thing is 16 years of data. So, let's say... Oh, for every currency pair. Okay, well, okay, so this is what you could do. You could take some random sample periods. Let's say you want to trade on the euro, the pound yen, the Canadian dollar, and the Aussie kiwi. All right, let's say that those are the ones you want to do. So what you might do is you might pull sections out. So you go, okay, well, I'll see what it was like trading it on the euro from December 2013 to uh, you know March 2014, and then I'll see what it was like trading it that same system on the euro July 2006 to December 2006. So you, you take these segments, and what you want to make sure that you're doing here is you're you're capturing different styles of markets, like different seasons, so to speak. So trending markets and directionless markets. You want to see volatile markets and quiet markets. You want to make sure that you're taking snippets of periods that you're testing where the system is being put through the ringer. You want to make sure that it's seeing different styles of markets. That's what I would do. The other thing is do the same thing with all the pairs that you want to trade it with. I guess you don't necessarily have to go through, but I would definitely try to get it. See if there's a difference pre like 2002, pre 2002. If you have pre 2002 data versus, you know, you know, you know, post uh, GFC data, there's a difference there. I found. And so I would want to make sure that it's fairly robust. So like, does it work in 2001? And does it work in 2017? You know, that sort of thing. I would, I would want to do a little bit of that. So all of my samples aren't going to be in just 2005 through 2008, you know, that sort of thing. So that's what you could do. You could do that, take snippets for the different pairs that you're trading and just make sure that they're far apart and that they include different types of markets. And also you could look at it from a number of trades point of view. You know, make sure that you're getting 500 trades per pair rather than, you know, 16 years of data, which, you know, I don't know how many thousands of trades that would be. It sounds like it's going to be a lot for this system. So that sort of thing. And also make sure you're not testing it in Forex Tester, for example, when you're sleeping and when you're not trading it. So you got to be careful. Sometimes you're taking signals in Forex Tester that you know you would have missed because you would have been sleeping or whatever. So mm -hmm. those are the other things I would I would look out for. But that's that's how I would approach it. Thanks. Some advice. Great. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Walter.